Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to show you how to create custom bill of materials, including the creation of them, as well as the manipulation of the bill of materials, and then some other pretty cool things that you can do directly out of our bill of material editor. To create this bill of material, first I want to find this assembly in the project tree. The reason for this is so that I can create the bill of material directly in that same folder. Here, I'm going to choose my bill of material template. I'm going to choose the assembly I'm assigning it to, and from there, choose whether it's going to be a top-level bill of material, multi-level, or a flat bill of material. In this case, we're going to choose a top-level. Next, if you select one of the objects, you can right-click on it and say Show in Tree, and it'll show you directly the part or assembly it's pointing to. You can also right-click on anything in the bill of material to directly open that object to view it, analyze it, make a change to it. From here, we're going to go into our draft and choose to insert this bill of material. All you need to do is pick the two points you want to locate it at, and like that, the bill of material has been included. From here, let's say that we want to make a change to our bill of material. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the major revision, and from there, let's say that maybe we want to include the mass in the bill of material. Never before has it been so easy to make such a significant change to a bill of material. If we go back to draft, you can see the bill of material is already up to date. 